Have you ever found yourself in a conflict of choice? In this time, we live in such a world where we have so many options. It can be overwhelming and we can get paralyzed with making a decision because some of the times those decisions, you know, do I do this or do I do that? And as an entrepreneur, I know I have a lot of different options available to me. And even with the best information, I can still get a little paralyzed with choosing. Needless to say, trying to go buy a, an iPhone case and you look on Amazon and there's thousands and thousands of them. So what do you do? Well, I'm Karen Valencic and I am the founder and author of Spiral Impact, the power to get it done with grace. And I've worked with leaders and teams for over three decades in the area of conflict mastery for collaboration and innovation. So right now I'm reading the book Anti-Fragile, which is very intriguing and I'm savoring it. In there, he talks about something I've not heard of before called the Burra Danes Principle, or more simply, the donkey paradox. And the story goes that the donkey is equidistance between hay and water. He needs both of those to survive, but he's in the middle and he can't decide, so he dies. There are a number of people online, if you research it, that have different answers to that dilemma. In Anti-Fragile, he introduces the concept that what you need to have is something random thrown into the situation to kind of throw it off balance so that it forces that function. And as I was reading that, I smiled and I kind of laughed because one of the things that I do when I'm trying to make a decision and I, I can't seem to go one way or the other is I flip a coin. I've got a five franc coin and it's got the Swiss flag on one side and I think a saint on the other and I flip it. And now what's interesting is I don't always go with what the flip tells me to do, but I've entered some randomness in there that helps move me one direction or the other. And so if I go one direction, it kind of gives me some clarity to maybe go the other. So that's it. I'd love to hear what you do to interject randomness when you're trying to make a decision. Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this, enjoy this, um, please subscribe, like, I'd appreciate it. I'm, and again, love to hear from you. So until next time, thank you so very much. Bye-bye.